Probably not, right? Oh, that's one of those if you fall down the hole type things, right? Hey, Akamok, doesn't this dude drop a weapon? That is a long pass to travel. Felix gave Valkyrie mail to Isaac. Well, considering no one else can hold it. Raises evasion. Raises my skill points by 21. And only 16 for him. 10 for him. Not, okay, so we'd literally just give this to him, right? And we saw that Phantasma Mail. Okay. Now we get to do the run thing. You know that thing where you gotta run? Yeah, we gotta do that thing. They gave us one set of double birds. Or they gave us the set of double birds one time. And now it's just been one bird. Nothing more. You just get one bird. Does this game not want me to farm experience? Do 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 I don't go the other way, right? I go straight up. If I went down, it'd be a, a dead end. Woo! If I hit Gale by accident, curse this game. Um, that's a teleport. What's this way, though? Oh, watch it be the Jenny. I was wrong. This is not the Jenny. Ah, it's... <laughs> if I had teleported in, I'd be dead right now. It's to stop me from getting blasted when I teleport. Door. I think I actually fell for that one time. It had, to, yeah, it was definitely my first playthrough when I was like, ooh, look, the teleport thing. Let's teleport now. And then I appeared in the area and then it blasted me with a uh, fireball. Are you sure you did as well? <laughs> then I was just sad. Especially as someone who hates wasting time and I realized I just fell for a trap and now I have to do this long walk pathway. I can't go that way, otherwise I... Will fall down a hole. Oh, this is how you get up out of the hole. Okay. They make sure to give you a lot of ways to get out of holes in this game. Um. Did I go the right way? Yeah, I did. You go this way for the the item. There it is. So. Acquired. I'm gonna go ahead and get that to you in exchange for your firebrand. Now you can officially be broken the way the the way God has intended. Um, that is a huge boost for him. Let's see, that's for you. That's what fifty-one, and for you, this would be. Let's see, 44 would put you at 70, 40 put you at 76, plus 4, so 44 instead of 51. I give it to him. 
Yeah, we'll give it to him. I'm probably gonna regret that. I probably should have gave it to Pierce. Wait, I'm gonna fall down either way, right? If there's nothing I can do but fall down, then I'm gonna go up here because it'll mean a shorter walk to get back up. Which means I get to be a tiny bit lazy. I haven't found the room, the pathway to get to that gen yet. There's a lot of running left in this uh, lighthouse. Alright, so if I remember correctly, we need to save because I believe... Carson Agito are just up ahead. We also need to fight this Minotaur. You, sir, are going to be the first to taste the brand new improved Megiddo. I forget. Who was it that turned them into uh, dragons? It wasn't the lighthouse, right? It was, uh, the wise one, right? Yeah, I remember that now. That's why I was like, the wise one's a turd. For doing this underhanded thing. Oh, that's the carpet bomb. It's just a giant bomb. All right, let's do Angel Spear. Um, we probably should focus on just one of them, right? So we're just gonna focus on the little one because I'm pretty sure the little one can heal. We'll use Mia to put some damage onto the other one though. Already starting to healing. Reverse star. <laughs> Reversey. I think I can do that one more time. Those first two? Yeah, she's got Skull Splitter. Instead of Helm Splitter, it says Skull Splitter. She go hard. She go real hard. Uh, let's give a wish well now. Megido! Bink! Eat giant orb! A flaming dude! 1,417. <laughs> let's go! That's the real damage right there. You don't need. Who needs a summon? We can just smack him in the face with a physical attack and call it a day. Oh, you son of a butt! She cast break. Now I have to redo all of that. How could you? Eat another less powerful giant rock orb thing. It wasn't really that much, uh, that, that much of a difference. Like, 300 attack. That's fine. I have no intention of using any of that. Okay, so, now he's like, you wanna drop meteors on people? Well, we could drop meteors on people. Oh, that did a lot of damage. 
I can say I was not expecting that much damage. Oh, I don't... I'm not as... OP OP as I was. Oh, they took one of my... Jupiter ones away, so... I lost my ability to AOE heal. You hate to see it, chat. You hate to see it. More rocks. That's what, three in a row? Well, that's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to use a mist potion. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to use a mist potion. That rising dragon looks better than the rising dragon that I have. Uh, Angel Spear. Potent Cure on Felix, followed by a Wish Well on the entire party. Can't wait till I get pure wish. That's fine. We've done way more than the amount that you just healed. What does Cage do? Does anybody know what Cage does? I feel like they keep trying to use it on me and it keeps doing nothing. What does that do? It's a stun? Oh, okay. It's a so it's a very inaccurate stun. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, the dragons are restoring PP too. Did not know that. Well, that one's dead. Alright, now I can beat up on the, the left one. Now we can just punch him in the face. We'll keep... We'll have our wish well again anyway, but yeah, we just punch the other one in the face. Think It's coming now. Easy boss. Especially when you're broken. When all your characters are doing over 500 damage per strike, yeah. I think any boss is easy at that point. Like, 862 from Jenna. That's slightly less than what Felix is doing. And Felix does this constantly, so it's like, okay, we're gonna get 1400 every turn, right? I bet it's 1259. If I ever make it this far in the modded version, I think this would be a really tough fight. See, now I'm going to have to play the modded version at some point. I got Ronin's Quick Strike. Don't know what that is. Yep. So we killed Karsten Agito. After we killed Sato's Minority, we just killed everybody from Prox now, aren't we? Why? Why am I lying here? Wait, I think I remember. We were going to light the beacon. But the lighthouse was frozen. We wandered lost inside trying to find the, um, the Airy. We must hurry. If we delay, Prox is destroyed. It's not use. I'm absolutely drained. I can't even stand. And the cold. Why am I so cold? We of the Fire Clan are meant to be immune to the cold. I feel that cold too, Karst. I, I'm afraid we're going to die up here. I can feel it now. The long dark sleep creeping into my soul. Wait, I think I remember. The eye. It told us that we lacked the will to go any farther. The eye. I remember now. I felt its gaze piercing me to the core. Then all went black. That's right. And I remember fighting against Felix. I do too. Was it a dream? An illusion? Felix, is that you? Yep. Amazing. Then our luck hasn't entirely run out yet. Felix, you must complete our quest. Please, 
You have to light the beacon. You can't even stand. We're in no condition to go on. Light the beacon for us, please. You'll need the Mars stars. Go on, take it. Please hurry. If I can't, um, if I can just see the light of the beacon, I'll know I haven't died in vain. We're counting on you. It's too late for us now. Hurry to light the beacon. You who hold the star, open your heart and listen. If you wish to reach the heavens, give your star to me. Oh, I was trying to do mind read. Read the minds. I'm so tired. A fog is rising before my eyes. No, can't die until the beacon is lit. So they're going to try to stay awake until the beacon is lit? Aw, it's so nice of them. I'm so cold. Colder than I ever thought I could, um, thought possible. All because Mars Lighthouse remains unlit. I have to stay alive long enough to see its light. Your hand. So warm. People have such warm hands. I had forgotten. Yeah, because you're too much being you're too busy being a douche to everybody. You were being less of a douche. Maybe you would know how warm hands are. You're gonna be waiting a while. I know, right? Yeah, so about that lighting of the beacon. So first I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go do a bunch of other stuff outside, but then I'll come back. Eventually. Wait, I can't leave yet. I'm still missing that Mars Jenny that's here. I need to get that Mars Jenny first. Then we can leave. Very important. And a Mercury one. You said the you said the last no the last Mercury one is not here. I think we found the Mercury one that was in here. So all that's left is the last Mars one. Yeah, we're missing one Mars one. The Mercury one is um, locked behind a teleport. And I'm assuming the last Venus one is probably locked behind a teleport too, right? I like how bright this place has gotten now that it's full of lava. Alright, I want to find that Mars Jenny before... I sign out. Huh. I guess I probably should just retreat, right? Yay! Wonder Bird Trio! I right, Wonder Bird Duo! Oh, you jerk. You weren't supposed to run away immediately. You're supposed to do at least one regen dance. And my bad, Firebird duo, not Wonderbird. Oh, well, here's the Jenny. Or I believe it's in this room. Doodle bugs. The doodle bugs. They going extinct because I'm about to kill a ball. I gotta get pure wish and stuff, so I need to get into the Wonderbird section so that I can farm out experience so I can get everybody above 40. I was like, I'm trying to talk to it, and it won't let me talk to it. <laughs> I was about to throw this controller at the screen. It all it only took one auto attack from everybody to kill it. know if I'll feel about Enchanter. Enchanter seems kind of lackluster. Or 
Or is that just me? It would seem the ply skill is better. Yeah, maybe it's just me, but I really do feel like the Enchanter buff is kind of meh. Right? Jenny, we're missing one Venus and one Mercury. I already know where the Mercury is. I don't know where the Venus is, but I have a feeling that it's probably in the desert. Um, so we're gonna find out now when we go back over there to check. Um, I think I should be able to, like, sneak through here. Right? No. No, I can't sneak through here. What was this cave again? I think I did this cave already, right? Yeah, Angara Cave. Yeah, I did this one already. Today's the last day you're, um, you're in tomorrow, but off Sunday for the holiday? Okay, cool. Well, enjoy your last day off, right? Maybe I haven't done this. Oh no, yeah, I did this. Wow, they make you go really deep for this. But yeah, today is the end of the Golden Sun Lost Age playthrough. Um, which means... Uh, well, it should be. With... with any luck, we should be able to finish this before the end of the stream today. Um, which means we'll be starting our, uh, uh, Dark Dawn playthrough on, uh, on, a uh, Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna see if there's, like, a randomizer or something like that for, or, like, a modded run for Dark Dawn. Uh, just because we have to play it emulated anyway, so we might as well, you know, we might as well mod it, right? I played through that game so many times regularly that I, I kind of feel like we should just mod it just for the sake of doing it. Just to make the game more fun. I honestly, it's not a bad game. I just, it's my least favorite of all the Golden Suns. Um, and I preferably would love to not play it, but <laughs> this is a trilogy. RPG Spotlight, so I kind of have to play it, you know? Since the whole point of this Spotlight was to shed light on, you know, RPGs of old that I felt were very good, but may have gotten, you know, kind of thrown on the wayside. So on these on DBA, to play them through the GameCube player? Cool. I have these on the Nintendo Wii U. I'm playing on my Wii U. Um, but I... I I have the physical copy of Dark Dawn, though. Um, the only problem with that is that I don't have the the adapter piece for the uh, 3DS. Um, every time the person that makes them or installs them brings it back online, I just miss the sale for it. So I uh, unfortunately was not able to gain one this time. So we have to emulate Dark Dawn, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate, because I really wanted to play it, you know, natively on my 3DS. Well, I guess saying that I have it is a little bit of a stretch. Um, it's more accurate to say that my wife owns it, but because she doesn't really play many of her DS games, and they're all inside of my DS case, it's it's pretty much like I own it, All right? But technically, it belongs to my wife. She's not. I don't think she's really that much of a fan of Golden Sun to begin with, though. So I'm the one that gets the most use out of it. Um, I guess we do this. All right. So I believe. There is a secret entrance or something of the sort here in this desert. Um, I probably should cast... Should probably cast a, a void of some sort. 
Just going through rocks now, huh? This is also one way to avoid, uh, battles. Yeah, I think somebody was telling me yesterday that there was supposed to be a boss in the desert. I couldn't remember for the life of me, so I'm going to assume that that person was right. But yeah, I actually missed the, like, Prima official guides and whatnot. Like, I still wish I had the uh, Golden Sun one. I don't think this is where I wanted to be. Yeah, that basically just put me around a circle. Kind of neat how you can pretty much go underneath everything. Would I be an evil guy if I did this to this water? Oh, it didn't work. I was like, would I be a bad guy for parching that water so nobody else can have it? But yeah, so it's nice to meet you, uh, Brad. Um, is there... What other games are you into besides uh, Golden Sun series? You're hoping for GBA DS to be added to the Nintendo Online? That would be wonderful. Um, I could definitely see GBA being added next. Um, but after that, it's probably I feel like GameCube would be the next decision for them, right? Like I could see GBA being next, but then I think after that, it's gonna be GameCube. I don't know if they'll do DS. Maybe on the next generation, though. It'll probably have the same uh, system, right? So, yeah, could be next. Nintendo does weird things, so you know, Nintendo will Nintendo when Nintendo decides to Nintendo. That kind of thing. Also, the JRPGs tells is your fave. Like all the tales, or any specific tales. Oh, I remember where he is at now. All of them? Okay. I have to say that I'm not really a fan of the Tales series myself. Um, I do like Tales of Arise. Um, and I did like, uh, Tales of Becerra. Um, I didn't really like Tales of Zestria. Um... But I guess if I like Becerra, then I kind of have to like Zestria. Since it's a you know, prequel, sequel type thing. Um, but those are the three Tales games that I was like really into. Um, I didn't really play many of the other Tales games though. Zest is a bad one. Yeah, the store was kind of weird. Which is strange since they did Zest first and then Basara afterwards, but they did the story in Basara was so much better. And it made me wonder, like, how did you guys mess up Zestria's story so bad then? Ah, oh, can't do it. Alright, so yeah, this is the place that's probably housing the last Venus Gen. So once we finish this place, then we can go and do the Sentinel. And then we can uh, go and fight Dullahan. We're going to farm um, the Wonderbirds, though, for a bit before we go to the Dullahan. Symphony is one of your faves, and it get, um, it's getting remastered that it comes out and stuff. Yeah, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to pick that up. Specifically because Fire Emblem Engage comes out literally three days later. Um, and that, I rank that as more important. So, and since money is kind of tight for me right now, and I have to buy a new TV now, because my upstairs TV is 
um, dying. Um, I'm probably gonna have to, uh, pick and choose which games I pick up. So, I think I'm gonna go with Engage over Tales of Symphonia. Mainly because I'm a Fire Emblem crazy noodle. But also because I just... I, I really like the way uh, Engage looks. Even more so than Three Houses. You're dead. What? What? Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh, it feels weird not two-shotting things like what we were doing inside of Mars Lighthouse. We were like half smurfing all the people in Mars Lighthouse. Ah, dang it. I came back because I wanted to do that one first. Because I know this area was the right way to go. Only for them to be like, yeah, so you can't actually go here yet. Shortcut. What I really wish it would do was stop playing around and re release Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Now, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand the reasoning behind pushing it back, but at this point, if you're, if they're allowed to release Call of Duty, then there is absolutely no way in heck that they shouldn't be allowed to release Reboot Camp. When is that coming out? It's been delayed indefinitely because of the, the issue with Ukraine and our, uh, our, uh, Russia? And since that doesn't seem to have an end to it, I guess it's just in delayed indefinitely. Forever. And which is fine. But the issue that I have is that if you're gonna do it with this game, then shouldn't you shouldn't the same thing be held to um in terms of like uh Uh, Call of Duty, shouldn't that be held to the same standard then? Like, why is Call of Duty allowed to release when it's about war as well? Um, and do just fine, but we can't release this other game because you're afraid what people are going to think about you guys. I, I don't know, it's weird. Again, I get it, I just... I really want to enjoy this game. I've been... I was looking forward, so forward to that game coming out, and then they were like, we're delaying it. I'm like, ugh. And I understand. Blue Moon was essentially modeled after Russia. So yeah, I, I, I get it. I just, I want the game so bad. Give me the game. Um, I did that wrong, didn't I? I'm supposed to do this. But yeah, I guess after Phylum Engage, the next big release is going to be, uh... Uh, Zelda, right? Tears of the Kingdom? Or at least, you know, the big one that I care about. So, you know, when they hopefully have the direct in late January, early February, um, we'll know if there's anything else on the docket. I hope they announce some DLC for, uh, for, uh, Mario Party, uh, Superstars. Like, more maps and minigames and whatnot. Or another Mario Party game altogether. I'm a, I'm a guy who really loves his Mario Party. Oh, hey, shortcut. Between everybody, it should die pretty easily. Doink. Whee! Big fireball. Oh. Okay. Gotta say, I wasn't expecting him to one-shot him. 
Pleasant surprise. Well, if he one-shot the dragon, there's no way he's not one-shotting the Minotaur, right? Uh, that is unfortunate, though, because that made me don't kill the Winged Lizard. I could have, you know, allocated the resources of that second attack onto the Minotaur to the Winged Lizard. I like how they call it a Winged Lizard instead of just calling it a dragon. As if they were trying really hard to not call it a dragon. See, they just called him a fire dragon, but he's technically a winged lizard. <laughs> oh, I gotta go all the way back around, though. That's rude. I did all that work. Now they're gonna tell me to go backwards? How many times in a row was that? Four? Three, four? That he's cast Megiddo? Oh, I'm looking for Blast, but it was on the wrong person. If it wasn't going to start, if I wasn't going to start Jan 2023, with doing your FF7 challenge? You would do the Golden Suns? What uh, what kind of FF7 challenge are we talking about? What's Quick Strike? Blind enemy with a Rapid Strike. That sounds like fun. Um, I want to try Thorny Grave, though. Right? I'm curious what it looks like. Oh, wow. Those are some, uh, those are some dark spirits. And by, I'm assuming you're talking about the original FF7, right? Not the, uh... Remake? Cars Core OG FF7 Dirt Servers did FF7 Remake? Okay. And Integrate? Okay. So you're just playing through all of them. But what's the challenge then? Is Are there like special condi uh, conditions you've imposed on yourself? Or is it just like play to? It's like what I'm doing right now. Though, though, although mine's is a spotlight series, so I'm clipping everything and putting it on YouTube. Um, for preservation, just so everybody can get a feel for what the games are like, and you know why I like it so much. Cause I, I feel like it's criminal. I feel like there's a lot of people who have not played this game or these games. Got him. Oh, he got mad at me for uh, taking him out of the dirt. All right, last Venus Jenny. I forgot all about this guy, by the way. He's dead. He's just dead, right? He's just, he, he's failed. Yep. Whenever you see Megiddo, you just know that they're gonna die. Alright, so we got Crystal. Give it to Mia? 
Yeah, we'll give it to Mia. Alright, so once we get the last Mercury Jenny, I can finally figure out what the heck I want to do with these people. If I do this, he won't be a Chaos Lord anymore. So I won't do that. But then what am I going to do with this guy? Like, how do I want to do this? I can make him a Chaos Lord too. And I can make him a Savant? I don't know, I feel like I already have enough Savant, right? The problem is, is all the Jupiter is over here. <laughs> they have all of my Jupiter. So he kinda doesn't have a choice. I can make him a sage. But he won't really have much of a change. Maybe I just split the Jenny between them. Give them two each, right? So he could be a wizard. He could be an elder. And then I'll give him the last Mercury, and we'll see what happens there. Right? Just streaming all of them until I beat them all, as I normally do as a JRPG, then some random game. Okay. Okay. So kind of like what I'm doing here as a spotlight. It, except you're only just, sh you're just showing it off on stream instead of uh, what I'm doing is both. I'm doing stream and YouTube it. Which is... Arguably extra work. <laughs> but that's fine. I don't mind the extra work. Which reminds me, tonight I need to make sure I put out the next video for Golden Sun 1. I might need to ramp up the video output. I might need to do 2 to 3 a week. Just to make, just so we can get it done. Because I, I was kind of hoping by the end of December I would have most, if not all, of the first one out. So that we could put our focus on the uh, second one. Because I kind of want to be putting the second video, the second game's videos out while we're playing through Dark Dawn. But I definitely want to make sure that I have enough time to finish Dark Dawn before Engage comes out. Because I, I really don't want Dark Dawn hovering over me. While I, uh, I'm playing Engage. I want to be able to put my full focus into Engage. Some Mithril Silver. I think that's the first Mithril Silver I've gotten. Minotaur! Um, I might mad is the Minos Knight. Eventually, I want to do a thing where it's like the year of Final Fantasy, where I play through every Final Fantasy game. Uh, every old Final Fantasy game. We're not going to play through, like, the remake. So I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Uh, 15, you know, and of course 16. Though that sounds like it's going to take literally decades. Oh, wait. Okay, so let's do the unicorn ring real quick. I mean, not Unicorn Ring, the uh, Spirit Ring. Uh, then we want to save real quick. Just in case. Alright, now kill a guy. 
I am the Guardian of Fire. If you want my power, prove yourself in my Crucible of Flame. Oh, I remember. I definitely remember him now. He's the boss that has the craptastic music, right? He's got the original. Uh, he's got the original boss music, and I don't like the original boss music. All right, uh, let's go with the Angel Spear with everybody again. Um, and then I think everybody else just attacks normally, right? Somehow Jin is slower than everybody. Could be because of the... God, he stunned my... He stunned my main attacker. Wait, how many Jin does she take from me? Oh, two of them? Oh, he took one from each person. Will summon Ramses? Um, will summon Atlanta? No, I have her summon Atlanta. I'll have I'll have her use a uh, potent cure on him. Oh, you turd. I can't unstun him because they did the thing. Bop, 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 pa pow! It's been a while since I used a summon. These aren't doing half bad damage. Come on! Oh, I forgot he can use my gin. I forgot he can use my Jenny to do his own summons. Well, you jerk. Angel Spear. I forget she's like the same now. Uh, let's dull him. They swapped their roles now, that's hilarious. Venus, Jupe. 316 for just base Venus, that's not bad at all. Wow, yeah, those are pretty strong. Can we leave her alone? Like, do we need to double here? I don't think that was necessary. I don't have a way to, uh, unstun her. Yeah, I don't have a way to unstun her. Um, I think we just physically strike, right? Megido! Strike! Eight thirteen. I like it. Come on with the stun dip, really? He stunned my entire team. literally just stunned my entire team. That is absolutely hilarious. Let's use a Mist Potion. Uh, Angel Spear. That's the first time I didn't stun us. Uh, I want you to attack with Skull Splitter. And restore. Probably got a restore back now. Oh, 
Ah! Stunned up is really starting to irritate me. I can't summon Megara! And Ramses. Um, I'm gonna have to heal myself, aren't I? So I don't die. Fuck! King Ramses! The man of gods! The man of gods! Every time I see Ramses, I think of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Who's going to save the day? Who's going to save the gay? It's Curse the Cowardly Dog. Curse the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, yeah. For the love of God! Can you stop Jenny stunning me, man? It's so irritating, man. Oh, well, in that case, you summon Sybil and you use Wishwell. And my basic attack would have did more damage than that. Ooh, nice. Over 1,000. I guess I could have also used Restore on Jenna. That's fine. If he didn't do it, I was going to do it. A uh, regular attack. Yo, Frost Spiral costs so much. 31 for that. That better be like the most broken attack ever. Megido! Wow! Reverse Star! Reverse Rising Dragon! So why is he not dead yet? I feel like we've been smurfing him off. Sun dip, yep. Time to dig it, I see. This is the trick that goes on forever, cause it doesn't ever end. He will keep on using it. <laughs> so here we go again. I win! This is the trick that goes on forever, cause it doesn't ever end. He will keep on doing it forever. So here we go again. King Ramses! I forgot I could skip that. Makes sense that would do the least amount of damage since he's supposed to be the Guardian of Fire. Yoink! I just want him to be dead. Can he be dead already? I need to get Jenna up because I need her to do the. I need her to, to reboost my uh, attack. She's probably gonna get up this turn though, right? I don't need to use a restore. Shay, what's up, Shay Leaf? We dropping rocks on him, baby. He's dead now. Doesn't matter. We dropping rocks on him. That actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. <laughs> right? That was actually pretty quick. We dropping rocks on them, baby. We dropping rocks on them. 
Pew, pew. All right, so now we go, we do Sentinel. We get the last of the secret summons. Um. And we get the last Jenny. Then we go and we get, uh, we fight Dulahan and we get the true last of the secret summons. 